there's never an easy night in the Greater Metro Conference, and tonight is no exception. Menominee Falls comes in red hot, winning five of six, while Sussex Hamilton has won nine of their 11 games this season and currently sit in second place in the conference. A raucous home crowd had the Chargers charged up early. Jacob Hartung drains this three from the top of the key. 19-9 Sussex Hamilton sweet. But the Indians weather the storm and rally before half. First, it's Jaden Champion with the steal and the pinpoint bounce pass to Bryce McMurtry for the deuce. The lead is cut to four. Later, it's Champion going coast to coast for the bucket. He had 13 on the night, falls down just a single point at halftime. And the comeback is complete in the second. Big Mad Henningsen with some hard work inside. This follow gives the Indians the lead. Then it's McMurtry driving through heavy traffic it falls for two of his game high 30, falls up nine. But the Chargers were far from finished. Here's Hartung with the swipe and the quick two, Hamilton down just four. Then it's Luke Sem right in front of us for three, nothing but net. The Falls lead is just one, 63-62 with 27 ticks left. After some Falls free throws, the Chargers have a chance to tie, but Sem's three-point try is too strong. The Indians survive 68-63, gaining a huge win over their crosstown rival. As we're growing up, when I was younger, coming to basketball games, they're a rival, and we always want to beat them. It's so nice to get a win against Sussex. We're still learning, we're still growing as a team, but you know, and their lows never get too low there, and just keep battling back. And, I'm really happy with the way the guys responded. It's West Dallas Hale visiting conference leader Marquette University High School in this greater Metro Conference matchup. Both teams appeared to be a little nervous at the start of this one. Starting to establish their offense, Huskies would take an early lead. Matt Wall feeds Ryan Hartle in the paint for the stop and pop J. Six foot five junior Ryan Coffey posts up down low and he'll fight a double team to get the layup. Coffey had 12 points on the night. Senior Job Alexander gets behind the Husky defense and gets the two handed jam. Hilltoppers on top, timeout hail. With just a few ticks left in the first half, Devontae Patterson gets the breakaway at the buzzer, cutting the lead to a point, 28 27 at half. The tempo picks up in the second. Wall finds Casey Farner underneath for the layup. But guys, you gotta get back on D. Jack Dwyer drives to the rack and Coffee gets there for the cleanup. Huskies up 33-32. Hilltoppers pushing hard gets picked by Patterson and he'll make them pay. He finished with a team high 18 points. Huskies clinging to a lead. Senior Nolan Wright gets things going for the Hilltoppers as they go on a 14-3 run with this layup. The run would be capped off by Alexander as he hits this tough left-handed shot. He led all scores with 20 points and would lead the Hilltoppers over the Huskies 66-56. We started off slow. Uh, can't really let that happen, but you know, over the course of the game, we started to get our things together, working the ball around, uh, you know, talking on defense, and it really helped us. Uh, we're trying to win the conference, and everyone counts. 